Blood sugar, or glucose, is an essential fuel for life, which is why it's so important that its levels are kept in check. This is made possible thanks to special cells called beta cells, which are found throughout the pancreas. The pancreas is an organ that sits just behind the stomach. Beta cells help control blood glucose levels by secreting a hormone called insulin into the blood circulation. After eating, blood glucose levels are high. Insulin helps to reduce this by carrying the glucose to different locations. For example, insulin can drive glucose into cells and convert it into storage molecules such as glycogen. Glycogen can then be stored in the liver until glucose becomes needed again in the blood. However, in order to trigger insulin release, glucose has to first enter the beta cell. Once inside the cell, it can be processed with the help of enzymes. This results in an increase in ATP, which is the source of energy that all cells need to function. In addition to this, ATP plays an important role in beta cells. Located on the beta cell surface are the ATP-sensitive potassium channels, also known as KATP channels. These channels act like master switches to maintain beta cells in either an excited or resting state. In response to high blood glucose, KATP channels close. This switches the beta cells to an excited state and eventually leads to the release of insulin into the blood. The KATP channels therefore play a really important role in ensuring that insulin can only leave the beta cell under the right conditions, which is when blood glucose is high. Unfortunately, in a condition called congenital hyperinsulinism, or CHI for short, this system becomes disrupted and the ability to maintain normal blood glucose is lost. This is because the beta cells continue to release insulin all the time, even when blood glucose levels are low. There are two main types of CHI, persistent and transient. Transient CHI usually results within a matter of weeks, whilst persistent CHI is a lifelong condition, further split into diffuse and focal forms. This video will focus on the diffuse form, whilst video 2 will explain focal and the differences between the two. In diffuse CHI, all beta cells throughout the pancreas are affected. It's commonly caused by problems in the ABCC8 and KCNJ11 genes. These genes normally act like instructions to support the correct assembly and function of the KATP channels in beta cells, but in CHI, the genes become faulty. This causes the KATP channels to remain permanently closed. This has a huge impact on the beta cells, as they normally rely on the KATP channel to know when to release insulin. Without their master switch, the beta cells never receive a signal to tell them to stop secreting insulin. Therefore, they continue to secrete insulin even when blood glucose is low. This results in very low levels of blood glucose, called hypoglycemia. Diffuse CHI can also be caused by problems in enzymes such as GCK, GLUT1 and SHAD. These enzymes normally work like catalysts to support glucose processing and again, problems here result in inappropriate insulin release. So how is CHI passed from parent to child? We each have two copies of every gene in our body, one from our mum and one from our dad. Sometimes we only need one copy of a faulty gene to develop CHI. This is dominant inheritance. Here, there is a one in two chance that a child will develop the condition. More commonly, however, two copies of a faulty gene are needed. This is recessive inheritance and is associated with a one in four chance that children will develop the condition and a two in four chance that they will become a carrier. A carrier is when you don't suffer from the condition yourself, but have the potential to pass the condition on to any future children. I'm Liz, a neuroscience student at the University of Manchester, and hopefully this video will have helped improve your understanding of the genetics involved in CHI. However, if you still have any unanswered questions, please don't hesitate to contact your local CHI care provider. See the next video to understand more on focal CHI.